G'day everybody and happy Boxing Day to you all and hopefully you've had a very Merry Christmas yesterday full of treats, presents and good food and pleasant people surrounding you. We are now on episode 137 and as I had mentioned in the previous episode, we do plan to make it into the deep mines today but uh, there's still obviously the stuff that we have to get done at the beginning of the day. Uh, here's our jackhammer from Franklin which is fantastic. Uh, we are going to actually take that with us into the deep mines and actually experiment with it uh, but let's do all the normal stuff that we do in the morning which is uh, all of the farming and hopefully we can just complete everything pretty quickly and then set off. Now there is one additional thing that I've just thought about that we should get done today before we go into the deep mines and that is we should actually look at whether or not we've got any festive tasks to complete because uh, if we do I would be inclined to actually get that festive task completed before going into the deep mines because, you know, those things are sort of uh, limited timed, uh, I guess, activities and I would be uh, kicking myself if I didn't really take the opportunity to complete those tasks. So um, we'll do everything as quick as we can here and then go into town, check the bulletin board and uh, hopefully we actually have uh, another festive activity to complete. And as soon as we complete it, we'll go into the deep mines because I think we're almost prepared. There is one thing that I sort of forgot to do. That is prepare the uh, the mining hat, uh, the one with the torch. So we just need to definitely make sure that we've got that with us. Uh, yesterday night, I completely forgot to check on our farm patch here. So I have no idea if people have actually been helping us with uh, watering the farm. Hopefully they did, but uh, anyway, it is only the wheat, so I'm not too fussed. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't really uh, hand on heart say that people have actually helped us with the farm. But uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, it probably just delays things by maybe a day or so. Mr. Tomato there. Just fill that can up again and uh, let's grab the milk and the wool. Alright, and uh, very quickly pet these two. Very nice and let's check on the chooks. Got a couple of big eggs here and one small egg. Fantastic. Everyone's laid an egg today. All right. And we've got a bunch of fertilizer to gather as well. Let's just put all of our stuff back. And do we have enough for more fertilizer? We've got enough for one batch, I think. So let's just get that going. Put that back and I think we're ready. So let's just quickly head into town. Uh, I do want to sell the spare beard to John. So let's quickly do that. He should be open by now. And Ah yes, I just remembered, but we also have some bat wings that we should actually bring with us as well. Welcome to John's Goods, how can I help? Uh, let's sell our uh, jolly beard here. Anything else we can sell? Doesn't look like it. 700, okay. Not really worth too much. I suppose it's not really that rare during the festive season. Let's check on the festive task here. Yep, uh, exactly the same one. So we will actually check that out before we go into the mines. Um, 
one thing that we should do is we should actually start spinning the wool here. Grab that, and before we forget, we should grab the uh, miner's helmet. That's what it's called. Uh, and actually, I better take that off, and I better bring a spare one as well, because uh, I know that it didn't really last for the entire time that we were in the mines last time. So, Sally's open today. I am going to see if we can actually dye our hair. So. What can I do with your do today? A haircut or color change is 5,000 ink. Yeah, here we go. New hair color. All right, so can we go completely white? Yes, we can. There we go. Nice. All right, that's not bad. I'll uh, I'll go with this look for a while. <laughs> Just for the fef uh, festive season. So uh, anyway, let us go and quickly do this investigation request and then we can quickly go into the deep mines and get cracking with the day really um, hopefully we saw uh, we find something interesting this time in the Santa sack uh, better actually find out where it is okay so all the way to the south actually this is probably the perfect time for us to uh, make use of the teleport tower and uh, that might speed things up for us all right let's go all right it's just across here it seems no sharks very good you know, come to think of it, I haven't actually done a lot of fishing recently. Maybe we should actually get into that uh, sometime soon. So we got cherries, a striped boogie board, nice, and a jolly hat and elf pants. Let's take a look at the jolly hat, actually. So, nice. And very much looking the part and we've got another spare elf pants so we should actually sell that off uh striped boogie board what can we do with this can we actually use it like oh wow look at that <laughs> it definitely lets you uh swim a hell of a lot faster all right anyway uh let's not waste too much more time let's go back i am going to have to store a few things uh, and then also uh, possibly maybe speak to John about getting rid of a few things before we go into the deep mines. How's our inventory looking? Okay. Hmm. I forgot to store a few things at the farm. But uh, that's okay. We can store things here. Let's uh, quickly have a chat with John. <laughs> And let's sell the spare elf pants and... Wow. <laughs> That's some very expensive elf pants, but anyway. The, uh... Ooh, sorry. Guys, um... I'm just... Forgetting about stuff here. Let's put a few other things away here. We don't need this. Uh, the cherries we do want to keep uh, and I just want to put a few of our in ingredients away and got milk as well um, tomatoes I think that's it we just need to bring the bat wings with us ah oh, you know what guys I totally forgot, but uh, we actually want to bring our bat zapper with us. Almost forgot. We definitely haven't used the bat zapper before, so this is going to be a very good experiment. Hopefully, the bats won't be too much of a problem anymore with uh, with this thing in hand. But uh, we'll have to see.
Alright, well, it is past 12 o'clock already. <laughs> so, so much for actually making a, a, you know, an early start in the deep mines today, but that's okay. Are we ready completely? Uh, we've got all of the mining tools, mining hats. Um, we've got all the foods that we need. Yeah, I think we're ready, guys. Let's let's do it. Oh, bloody hell. I totally forgot about the mine pass. Jeez. Okay. Let's <laughs> Let's go fetch one. Uh sorry, before we do that, let's just take the hat off for a second. Alright guys. <laughs> we are now ready. Let's do it. Ah, oh, jeez. It just seems like preparing for going into the mines is already a bit of an ordeal. Um, anyway, let's see what happens if we've got the bat zapper here. What happens? They don't seem to be... Oh, wow, okay. Oh. Oh, that's very, very cool. All right. Um, got to keep that in mind. Um, let's have a waddle brew because I think that gives us some buffs to mining for about 10 minutes, right? So... Ah, oh, yes. This uh, jackhammer is... So good. <laughs> Any fish that we can catch. Doesn't seem like it. Not here anyway. But uh, I don't know guys. Let's see. Should we set ourselves a goal? Maybe that's not such a bad idea. Let's go that way. And uh, hope for the best. I don't really want to be drilling through too much of the walls because I think that's going to drain a lot of the uh, the battery life of uh, the jackhammer but yeah we should be able to use it for you know thin walls like those very nice and look if we do end up running out of battery life then ah uh, oh, you know what guys I completely forgot about um, our keys. Bloody hell, I knew I forgot something. Damn it, not gonna be able to go in. Uh, well, what a bit of a waste, guys, but uh, that's okay. I think we'll make the most of it by just gathering as many iron and copper and tin ores that we can find. And in addition to that, hopefully, we can find some rubies as well. I'll be pretty happy with, uh, with myself if I can find the rubies, at the very least. But, uh, yeah, I'm sort of kicking myself right now because I totally forgot those keys. Uh, I think I just focused a little bit on other things and completely forgot about it, but uh, apologies guys. Uh, and yes, uh, it might be pretty frustrating for you guys to watch, but unfortunately that does happen every now and then. Um, just so many things to think about all the time before you go into the deep mines, but uh, anyway, such is life. Okay. This is probably the perfect time for the bat zapper. Oh, look at that. It also, uh, I guess, stuns the uh, bush devil. Or maybe not. <laughs> not sure. But anyway, ooh. Uh, yeah, that's not good. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll probably let them fight each other. And uh, I'll uh, I'll happily not be a part of that. <laughs> okay, any fishies here? 
Doesn't look like it. Yeah, if we can catch a fish this time around, that might also be pretty good. Because uh, we still don't really know what those fish are exactly. Um, I'm just hoping that it's not a blobfish. Because we randomly got that in the uh, recycling bin the other day. So we don't exactly need another one. Probably wouldn't hurt to gather up some more stone. Oh yeah, finding all of the uh, the hidden treasure rooms now. Uh, and exactly on a day that we don't have any of our keys, unfortunately. Okay, so got our first ruby, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly use the bat zapper here. And um, let's work our way back to the mine exit. And I think what we'll do is uh, we'll, we'll follow the same strategy as last time, which is we'll um, explore in a different direction uh, and see if we can find some more uh, rubies that way. And maybe we can find some different lakes to see if we can check if there are any fish. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure we're going the, the same way that we came here, but uh, we are getting pretty close though. I'll take the free meat. Thank you very much. Uh, we want to cut through there. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, maybe it's not such a bad idea. Um, maybe we shouldn't really aggro the, uh, the croc. But uh, that should work out pretty okay for us. Okay, we're not even close yet. Bloody hell. And another treasure room. Jeez. <laughs> I am definitely very upset with myself, guys. Uh, ah. It's alright. We'll, uh, we'll get treasures next time. We'll, uh, we'll just have to accept... Uh, what we're doing this time around. I think I've gotten a little bit too far now from the actual mine entrance, which is a bit frustrating. Okay, let's see if we can cut through here. There it is. Alright, missed that. There we go. One ruby. Very nice. Uh, we should figure out where we want to go next though. So maybe in that direction. Might not be so bad. Actually, we better set it. And do we still have the the buff? Yes, we do. For a couple more minutes. It's not bad. So I can see the durability of the bat zapper reducing quite a bit. Now, one thing that I'm not entirely sure of with the bat zapper is whether or not we are going to be able to recharge it. I have a feeling that it might be a single use, well not single use, but like an item that is like consumable technically, because uh, once the durability runs out, that's it, and you might have to just craft a new one. 
which would be very, very unfortunate, actually. But, uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Um, doesn't look like there's really much of a path there, so just going to have to cut through. I'm just looking out for some fish as well, guys, just in case. Because uh, I would really like to be able to catch one of those fish. Bring it to Theo. Now, I haven't actually thought about uh, focusing on specific uh, ores this time around. I know that we sort of ran out of copper um, very recently. But uh, anyway, I might just gather everything that I see, really. Because uh, we're starting to need absolutely everything now, so... Okay, just dodging left, right, and center right now. It's getting a little bit stressful. Very nice. That was definitely worth the pain. Now we just need to safely grab this. And uh, we should try and head back. So, let's go. And let's see if we can try and avoid all of these bush devils. What time is it? Six. Okay. So, we still have quite a bit of time, I think. I should actually check on whether or not we still have the mining buff. I think we've probably worn out the mining buff at this point. Probably want to have a another wattle brew and that should uh, help us uh, mine a little bit faster even with the tool I think. So I uh, can't seem to go through there. Maybe over here. Very good. Grab that random copper ore there. There we go, that's the second ruby. Hopefully we find uh, a little bit more. Let's see, where should we go next? Maybe we should go south. And uh, see how we go around that side. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get through around here. Might actually have to go around. Yeah, a lot of these treasure rooms. So we've seen like three or four treasure rooms this time around. Which is uh, a bit unusual. Usually we only like see two or so. In some cases, sometimes we only see one. Actually, I better have the wattle brew. Okay, yeah, that definitely makes a difference. Yeah, I'm uh, basically implementing uh, one of the suggestions from one of your comments, so... And this is very, very powerful, actually, so... Uh, definitely a, a very efficient way of gathering materials. Only problem is uh, avoiding all of the bats, obviously. And everything else that's trying to kill us. <laughs> All right. I feel like we've found plenty of iron ores at this point. Um, let's keep going this way. Oh, look at that. Okay, we 
are getting into a little bit of a problem with our health. So let's just quickly check what we can have to fix that. Maybe we'll have one of our sausage rolls. That's not too bad. Let's put that back though and uh, return the wattle brew in the uh, tool belt. We'll grab that free meat. Thank you very much. Uh, let's actually just quickly take a look at the ore situation. Okay, so iron ores were definitely loaded up on. Uh, maybe we should actually focus on the tin and the uh, copper at this point. Uh, and obviously that'll speed up the process of us looking for rubies. And fish, if we ever get to find those fish. Plenty of iron ores there. Uh, bit of tin here. Very good. Actually, that's quartz. Probably don't want that. Check on the inventory space. Okay, still looking pretty good. We definitely have a lot more space for stuff. Uh, I mean, we're probably not really going to have too much of an inventory issue this time around because, uh, yeah, we didn't bring our keys with us, so. <laughs> but who knows? We might find some form of treasures. Actually, you know what? One thing that I haven't done is I haven't actually been checking on whether or not we have uh, bat wings dropping because uh, I've sort of been ignoring all of the bats so uh, my bad <laughs> perhaps maybe there have been plenty of bat wings uh, that have dropped down but uh, anyway that's okay we're not even guaranteed to find that bat statue in this run anyway, so... But always nice to just collect some bat wings. I wonder if there are any other statues that you can find in the deep mines. Just checking on fish, guys. Just in case. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any fish here. What about this side? Nope. No fish on this side either. Yeah, those fish definitely seem to be very rare. Hmm. Another broken down car here. Very good. I've sort of veered off quite a bit from the uh, the makeshift objective, but uh, that's okay. As long as we're exploring, that's the main thing. I think this is the same lake as before, right? Um, yeah, the durability on this uh, jackhammer is fantastic. I think you can um, like drill for a very, very long time, essentially. Let's just quickly check the ore situation. Okay, we've got a hundred tin ores now. <laughs> um, that's quite a lot. Maybe we should actually focus on just copper? I don't know. 
But I feel like if we don't pick up uh, any auras during this whole process, it's uh, not really going to be much of a worthwhile trip. So uh, maybe I should be grabbing a few more of those uh, those iron ores as well. Unfortunately, no more rubies though. Haven't seen any. Bat wings. Doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, yes, there is. Alright, we're very, very close to the goal. Oh, geez. Okay, um, our, uh, our helmet has run out of juice, so let's put on the the next one, or the spare one rather. That should keep us going till uh, the end of our exploration. For today anyway. We're gonna have to recharge a whole bunch of stuff before we come back here. Yeah, still so gutted that I uh, forgot those keys, guys. Okay, well, that is the signal that we are no longer welcome here. Um, I don't really see any more rubies around, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. Where are we? Okay, we're pretty far from the entrance, which might be a bit of a problem. Um, how are we doing for time? Okay, we've got 30 minutes. I mean, 30 seconds real time, that is, but uh, anyway. Um, hmm. Actually, let us uh, let us plan for going back here because uh, I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable. So let's prepare the foods that are going to give us like health back because uh, I think that's going to be important. And I don't think the jackhammer is going to be what we need anymore. Um, but we're definitely going to want the bat zapper every now and then. So. Um, Let's, let's do this. Hopefully we come across a, uh, <laughs> uh, a ruby that we haven't discovered. But, uh, I think we're going to have to settle for two. Okay, here we go. Just had one of my dampers, and hopefully that'll keep us going until we get back. Uh, stamina might be a bit of an issue at some point, but uh, let's cross that bridge when we get there. No rubies in sight. Bloody hell. Uh, okay, that's a bit of a dead end. So is that. Actually, we should be able to swing around here. What is going on here? Okay, just some random palm wood paths. have another damper. 
And I think we're getting pretty close here. Actually, while we're here, we, we could probably break this down. Actually, that was a bad idea, because uh, we don't really have enough stamina, do we? <laughs> okay, I'll... I'll... Uh, yeah, okay. The stamina has actually re, uh, regenerated there, which is good. Um... Okay, this is a bit of a problem. Just gonna quickly have some sausage roll there. Uh, how do we get around? Okay, we sort of need to go around this way. Uh, can we get through? Possibly, but this might be a little bit risky. Come on. Okay, our stamina is not recharging. Let's, uh, let's quickly have some bush limes here. Hopefully that'll keep us going for a little bit. Very nice. Not really in the nick of time, but uh, we managed to make it out safely in the end anyway. So, uh, yeah, but unfortunately, uh, due to a miscalculation on my part, uh, this day didn't go as good as it could have. But, uh, you know what, sometimes days just be like that. So, just gotta accept it. Uh, Alright, let's put the mining helmets away. Let's take all of these rubies out and yeah, we're going to be pretty much calling it a day right now. Uh, I do want to just get some of the mining helmets recharging right now uh, while we can and uh, we'll charge the other one tomorrow. Alright, well, all in all, not a bad day. Looks like everyone's fast asleep already, uh, <laughs> except for Erwin, who uh, is apparently very fascinated with the uh, with the billabong over there. But anyway, uh, interesting day. We dyed our hair. We were looking like Santa Claus uh, just in time for the festive season. We went into the deep mines and we didn't bring our keys. Good job. Well done, Blue. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.